Tommy Bond, James Bond, License to Kill, 007. Uh, good day, watchers, and welcome to my video today. Um, right, I thought to myself, well, I did this for. I did it actually a while back, a James, James Bond Blu ray collection. I, did, I think I did a DVD collection years ago, too. Um, was it a Blu ray collection? I, did, I know I did it years ago. I, I, I uploaded it, then I delete it. I might have to upload that one again. Um, so I thought to myself, well, I'm going to do. Another James Bond Blu-ray and full. This time it's Blu-ray and 4K this time. So I've got um, all the James Bond movies um, on Blu-ray and 4K. So let's get this party started, shall we? Like I said, license to kill. Double with seven. Let's do this. So the first one is that started all off. Um, Doctor No on Blu-ray. Comes with the sleeve, of course. Stars the legendary Sean Connery. A license to kill. And uh, James Bond, um, not my favorite Bond film, but it's like it's the first one that started off. It's still a pretty good, pretty good James Bond movie, of course. Um, of course, you've got the villain Doctor No in it, of course. Um, I need to watch these films again because I haven't seen them for that long. Um, so yeah, Doctor No on Blu-ray. Um, this is like the nineteen, the the, the early nineteen sixties, yeah. Let's go back a bit, that is. Um, so, 19. So, yeah, Doctor No on a Blu ray. Cool. And then we've got his second film uh, from Russia with Love. Um, as you can see, it comes with all the special features. Of course, but James Bond goes against the Spectre organization. Um, yeah, another good, this is another good, good one, of course. Uh, so, yeah, James Bond and um, from Russia with Love, Sean Connery. And then we got uh, Goldfinger, and I, you see him on the cover there with the Aston Martin. Very cool. Um, I like that scene with the woman who gets painted in gold. Uh, this is a really, this is a good film actually. I like this one. Um, Sean um, Sean Connery again. Awesome from uh, Goldfinger. Double Chevron. James Bond. Then we got Wonderbone on Blu-ray. Another Sean Connery one. Sean Connery, like she should kill. Um, cool cover again. Comes with a sleeve. Very cool. Here you go. Wonderbone. And then we got You Only Live Twice, Mr. Bond. Uh, another good Bond film. Well, this is actually introduces Blofeld and Donald Pleasance as Blofeld. What can you say about Donald Pleasance in the James Bond movie? You can't go wrong. Um, a really good film, and uh, there's the Aston Martin there. Awesome. That's a good movie, that one. I like that one. I like, I like all the James Bond films, but this one's pretty much, you know, fantastic with um, Donald Pleasant as the main, main villain this time. Um, Bluefield. Uh, so, yeah. You only live, you only, you only live twice, Mr. Bond. Um, yeah, that's a good one, that. To do come to see for this one, but and this is okay. This is the one that with this is one without uh, Sean Connery on a measure of secret service. But you know, I like this one. Um, I like this one because it has you know, it has good car, you know, action in it, uh, good music, and there's Diana Rigg in it. Um, so yeah, I like this one, yeah. And of course, stars um, George Lazenby as um, James Bond. Well, you know, this is actually, I, I like this movie, I do like it. This is, like I said, this is without Sean Connery, of course. Um, he, didn't, he didn't bother with this one, but um, I think the guy who plays James Bond does a decent, actually pretty good job as Bond. Not the best Bond, but I think he did a good job. Uh, good music, good action. Yeah, so, and, yeah, so, yeah. Awesome, so, yeah. So, on a match, secret service, so, service, double rush seven, on Blu-ray. Awesome. And then we've got Diamonds Are Forever. Uh, Sean Connery, of course, comes back for this. I hope that is actually, this is his favourite film that he made. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, this, one, this, this one's a really good film, actually. I like this one. It's good to see uh, Sean Connery back as um, Bond. It's not actually his last performance as Bond, which is... I, I, I come to that in a bit. Um, so Diamonds are Forever, this, this is, it comes with a lot of special features. Good thing about these films, they come with a decent amount of features um, on this film. So yeah, this is a good one actually, this is a really solid film. Uh, Diamonds are Forever on Blu-ray, cool. And then we've got um, Live and Let Die, this is uh, Roger Moore's first uh, Bond film. I'm a really good film by the way. 
It's got um, Jane Seymour on it. It looks great looking woman, of course. She's on the cover there, of course. Stunner. Um, and of course, the really good um, Paul McCartney's song to it, which I like. Um, so yeah, really good film. And a really good, um, you know, Roger Moore, first Roger Moore, uh, James Bond film, which I like. Um, I like Roger Moore, actually. Really good Bond. So yeah, it makes a good Bond. Uh, there we go. Awesome. But the second Roger Moore film, Man with a Golden Gun. This stars um, Christopher Lee in it, of course. Makes a great villain. Um, and that small guy in there is just pretty. <laughs> Yeah, that little small guy there. Yes, <laughs> very sneaky that guy's in the movie. Very sneaky, but this is a good movie. But it's that cool intro now. I like, I like, I like it's got a, it's got a really cool intro to it. Um, yeah. So man with a golden gun. Really good film. Yeah, awesome. And we've got the third one, the spy who loves it. This one has, I do really like a lot. It you got Jaws in it. it makes his. Um, Debut in this film, Jaws. Jaws is probably my favourite villain. Yeah, this is fantastic. This guy is a huge shark, you know, shark teeth, you know, metal teeth, and stuff. You think, what's not, not what's not, not not to love on this? Because it's great. It's just fantastic. Um, yeah, I like this one. The music, oh my god, the music. Nobody does it better. It's, it's fantastic. This one was. Um, I like this one very much. Uh, Roger Moore is on top top of his game with this. So yeah. Like I said, the intro, the music, fantastic. Good action, Jaws. What else, what's not to love on this one? This is a good one. Still great humour in it. Fun, fun movie, I see ya. Uh, the Spy Who Loved Me. Oh, Blu-ray. Uh, there you go. Awesome. Moonraker. There's another good one. It's not, not loved by a lot of people because they're in space and stuff. But um, The woman in it. Oh, my goodness. The woman, the doctor, the, the attractive uh, woman in it. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Her uh, there. Moonmaker, um, not the best one, but I like this one, especially Jaws when he's actually switched his sides, which which is pretty interesting. Jaws actually survives, which is interesting. I used to, usually villains die, but his character survives. Kind of, you know what? Let's keep him alive. He's out there somewhere. You know? Um, and the, you know the woman here. I've noticed something about her. She looks like Miller Drof Drofovich. I just pronounced her name from Resident Evil. I always thought she looks just like her. If they're gorgeous looking woman, I think they go. She looks just like. Her. She even sounds a bit like her too, a slight bit. Um, but no, I've said that. I, I did a picture yesterday, but they look just alike and a little crazy. Um, very similar, you know. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's just, I mean, I, yes, I don't know, I just think they look very similar. Um, so yeah, really good film, by the way. I like this one, not perfect, but some of the effects are still pretty cool in it. So yeah, so yeah, uh, Moonraker or Blu ray. Awesome. For your eyes only. Another, I like the theme tune again. The theme tune's good. The intro, pretty cool. Uh, for your eyes, eyes only. Uh, what do you expect? Beautiful woman. Action. Good feet. A good song to it too, which I like. Um, so yeah. And then we've got Octopus here. Yeah. Another good intro. I like the theme tune to this too. The music's really good. So yeah, um, really good film. Roger Moore again. Okay, so fantastic. Humour again. I don't really have a problem with humour with these films, they're just fun to watch. Uh, maybe they're a little bit, some of it can get ridiculous, but it's enjoyable, they're fun movies. They do, they do have some fantastic action scenes. Um, so yeah, awesome. Octopussy R Blu-ray. Okay, this one's a bit of a controversial one. Because, well, not controversial, but it's, a, it's an it's the odd one. I thought they'd put this because it's James Bond. Um, but, um, Sean Connery came back to do this film and it's called Never Say Never Again. This isn't the best one, I admit that. I'm, the music theme two is not the best. I know it's just like, but you do have Kim Bassinger on it. That's the plus time. But yeah, it just look. It's, they did. They did it at the same time. They did um, Octopus. Uh, so it came out at the same time. But this was like 20th Century Fox. And for some reason, I don't know why this was even alive. Because he had this. I have no idea. It's weird the way the thing works now. Because it's like they, it's like a different company doing Bond. It's weird. I don't know how it worked out. I don't know. I don't know how they worked for on that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it's a good. It's not. It's not. I would say it's a great movie. I watched it. I didn't really. I didn't. It just felt out of place. for from the old one. I Bond, but yeah, this felt way out of place. The music and the. It didn't have the James Bond theme to it. 
It felt out of place, yeah. But it's there, you know, and his last performance is Bond. Um, just not the official performance, you know, so yeah. So never say never again, so yeah. We've got the view, a view to a kill. I like this one, it's a good one. This one sort of starts with Christopher Walken as the villain, of course, and what can you say about that? It's just, for, it's just a fun movie. It stars um, Tanya Roberts, Grace Jones. Yeah, Grace Jones is an interesting character in this. Um, yeah, an interesting. No, it's like not, it's not the greatest like the way to go out, but I still like. I, I, it's an enjoyable movie. And, um, yeah, it's a good. I still think it's a good film, especially the music in it um, from Duran Duran, which is cool. Uh, but I like this one. It's, it's a fun movie. Uh, so yeah, it's a good film though. And then we got, of course, the uh, Living Day. That's Timothy Dalton's introduction to, as Bond, of course. And actually, I like. I like his James Bond. He's more gritty, more serious. Um, that was a kind of comedy, but at the same time, it's still fun to watch. Um, and the theme tune, the music, and oh my god, the live day oh, that's just great. The music is great, I love the music too. And like I said, he makes a good bond actually, more kind of like edgy, you know, grittier bond, more serious. Um, I think it does a good job actually. It's not, not my favorite bond, but I did, I did enjoy his film, these films, a lot of action, you know, it's just a fun movie. Uh, yeah, so the Living Daylights, a lot of action in this film, hasn't it? It's, it's a good movie, I like this one. Um, and Tiff, like I said, Tiffany Dalton, films at first. Then we've got License to Kill. This is like the most violent Bond, still a fun movie. Um, so yeah, a lot of action. And of course, Robert Davi as the villain, which is cool. It's got a good cast, though, too. This film has got a good, good cast. Um, like I said, it's, it's actually quite, quite the most violent James Bond film. Especially when that guy explodes his blood, it's like um, he doesn't blow up like a balloon; he just blow it blood and it's just yeah, it's pretty violent. For this, um, not that super so, like heads being chopped off and stuff, nothing like that. But just it's just violent, yeah. So, um, nice is the kill on Blu-ray. Another good film. It's Final Bond, of course, um, but a good solid move, I'd say. Oh, it's just... And then we've got Golden Eye, Pierce Brosnan's uh, debut as Bond. You know, that's a good move. Um, good action, great looking women, and, and quite memorable moments in it. You know, the tank part where the tank blows up the tree. Oh my goodness. I remember the video game that came out. Loved that game. I've played that game non stop. Golden Eye. It's fantastic. But a really good film. I like it as well. Good fight scenes. You've got Sean Bean as the villain, uh, becomes the villain. Um, and yeah, I like this one. I do like Golden Eye. It's a good film. I had this on VHS. Um, I used to, I, I'm watching on VHS. I really liked it. I thought, wow, that was good. Especially, and the women, oh man. Some really good looking women on this. Um, so yeah, awesome. Golden Eye on. And then Tomorrow Never Dies. Another good started James Bond film. Uh, bike chases. Yeah, action. I like the car in it where he controls it. Like Knight Rider. It's just cool. Um, yeah, really good film. I like this one. This is his second film that he did. And Pierce Brosnan does a really good job as Bond. Um, so yeah, really good film. Oh yeah, of course, Terry Hatcher. Oh my goodness me. Oh, Terry Hatcher, thumbs up for that. Good choice. Um, so yeah. So yeah, anyway, so Tomorrow Never Dies on Blu-ray. Awesome. And then we've got, oh, this is another good one. I like this one. It's got it. Um, the World Is Not Enough on Blu-ray. This is another good film. It's got Robbie Caltrain as the main villain. Really good villain, Mark. I don't know. I like his. I like his. I like his performances. Uh, Robert. I mean, his roles. His roles. He does his roles really well. You know. Um, but him as a villain is yeah, it's just a plus sign for us. Like, really well done. Um, another one with great looking women. You have got Denise Richards in it as the. Oh my goodness, me. Say no more. I tell you, say no more. Um, the boat part with. Uh, where he's riding that little boat thing. Uh, um, yeah, so fantastic. Um, a, a good move, I like this one. Um, the, word, the word is not enough. A cousin of a sleeve, of course. Awesome. I've got his final a James Bond film. Not a great way to... Not the best movie ever. Not a, not the best way to go. But you know what? It's a fun movie. Especially um, the stealth car. The invisible car, which is... um. Yeah, it was a bit over the top that but bit was. But you know, it's a fun mover. And Yeah, so actually the other one it's the last 
the last bomb film I just showed you, that was the last um, perfect appearance from Q, of course. It's sad, really, because it was, it, but yeah, it's just the way it is, isn't it? So, it's live. And so, yeah, Dying of a Day on, it's like I said, it's a good movie, I like this one. I don't hate it, I like the part where the, the, the car flips over, dodging that. That's a good scene, that was, that's a good scene. Um, that was a good, good scene. The film isn't perfect, I know, um, but I don't, the theme tune is a little bit. I'm not, I'm not super, he's not, not super keen on the theme song um, on this. Um, yeah, it's not, not not the worst music ever, but it's like one of those theme tunes you hear you go, hmm. Yeah, but um, it is what it is. But it's still an enjoyable move, I still enjoy it, so yeah. Uh, so, Diet Another Day, and of course, um, of course, you've got Halle Berry in it, of course, say no more. John Cleese, too. Who kind of becomes a new Q in it, of course, John Cleese. But yeah, this is a good, it's still, it's still a fun movie, though. it's not perfect, but it's a fun movie. That, um, I wouldn't even skip, to be honest, I won't skip. It's not like a film I'll go, I'll skip that one. No, I'll still watch it, I enjoy it, it's fun. And then we're going to Casino Royale. This is like inch, this is like a debut for Daniel Craig. You know what, it's a pretty good film, this one. It's a pretty good film, indeed. Um, Daniel Craig has Bond. And I, the scene that really makes you go, oh shit, the torture scene where he gets tortured. Um, that scene was painful to watch. Even you, you see it so many times, you see, you see it like once or twice, and it's still painful. You see it again, it's like still painful to watch. Um, because this, this guy's, you know, you know that feels like if you have metal to, you know. <laughs> oh, this comes with the extended version, which is even better, of course. Um, but this is way more gritty than any other Bond film, I'd say. And a lot of action. The guy directed, uh, he directed the um. The, the, he, he directed Goldeneye, and that was a good film. That was a really good um, bomb film, but this was a really, really good one too. And a lot of action, uh, gritty, um, and no humour in this. It's like more serious. But yeah, this, this is a good film, this was. Uh, I like this one very much. Especially the, the uh, beginning of it, it's fantastic. Uh, so, Cassini Royale. Not the original, not the United... They did like an old one years ago. I can't, it was the 60s they did. Uh, that was more comedy, um, but this is more serious, so yeah. Uh, Quantum of Solace. This one didn't get much love from many, many people. You know, I didn't mind this one. It was enjoyable. It takes place just after um, Casino Royale. And the car chases are really good. The action scenes are good. The play, you know, there's part where he's in the plane and stuff, which is cool. Uh, I didn't hate this movie, to be honest. I thought it had a lot of action in it. Still quite serious. And yeah... Didn't get much love, but you know, I thought the action scenes were very well done, especially that scene of the car chase. And of course, the women in it, what can I say? Look at women again. Um, yep, yeah, I like the woman in it too, very nice. Very nice indeed. Fun, fun, fun. Awesome, so yeah. Quantum or Solace on 4K, awesome. And then we got Skyfall, uh, another good one. And the main villain, what can you say about that? He's, that's, the only scene that made me go cringe a little bit was the scene where he's... Where he's like touching Bond, and doing that. it's that scene made me cringe. I was sitting there going, "Oh god, here we go." <laughs> so, apart from that, it makes a good villain, it and yeah, good film though. Um, so yeah, I like the fact that it comes with special features, all these special decent amount of features too. Um, I might not watch these films again, then watch the special features from the beginning. Um, because I like to see how they do the films. You know, sometimes they do like they do documentaries and stuff about the film. Um, and that's interesting, I always find that, you know, when you watch a documentary on a certain film that is either good or does it get much love, you know, like, anyway, so, anyway, so, because Skyfall and 4K, and then we've got Spectre, another good Bond, Bond film, um, so yeah, car chases, action, um, good looking women, yeah, Spectre was actually, Spectre was a pretty good film, actually, I like this one too. Uh, like I said, I've got, I've got to watch these films again because it's been a while since I last watched these movies. But <sighs> each film always brings something like quite so like, something quite cool. Um, a lot, a lot of, lot of action, humor. Um, these films start to have a bit more humor later on. These these films are not like over the top humor. Um, but this this one this one was pretty good. This one. Uh, so yeah, Spectre on 4K, cool. And then we got the controversial one. This this one that. <laughs> Uh, no Time to Die. This is a film. I actually like this film. I like the fact they had the music from 
on Her Majesty's Secret Service on it, which I did hate this move. It was a bit of a surprise right at the end, but at the same time, I kind of okay. So it kind of it kills off his cat. Is is Bond? Um, it was controversial, but at the same time, you kind of think it was an in it was still enjoyable. I still enjoyed it. The last part was crazy. I was sitting there, holy moly! I can't believe they actually did that. They went down that path. Um, but yeah, a good decent cast. Uh, very, very, I would say controversial. I thought it was a bit of a controversial in the way that end, end Bond, but at the same time, it does a, it puts up a good performance, of course, uh, Daniel Craig as Bond. And it goes out in a blaze of glory, kind of. Well, it goes out in a blaze anyway, so. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, the last part was kind of interesting, because I thought it was, well, Bond would have actually found ways to get around that, somehow. Um, but he just decides to, like, do what he does and it's kind of like and that doesn't sound like bond when you think about it but i suppose i don't know but yeah it was an interesting mover uh controversial but a lot of action there and some cool scenes in it which i liked i didn't hate it like i said and comes with special features of course as you can see so yeah so, so it's the final daniel craig james bond mover and no time to die on 4k so yeah this is my james bond collection like i said there's a lot of I've liked every James Bond movie. I think the only one that I kind of liked was probably Never Say Never Again was a bit... Yeah, it was because it was just the odd one. I had this a little bit. The film feels like I place more than anything. The music and stuff. And and the fact you've got a Roger Moore film. Be, you know, in between. You know, it's just mad. And it doesn't really feel like a Bond film. Um, it doesn't matter if he's wearing the suit. It doesn't feel like a Bond film. Even if you call him 007, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's... It, if I had the f bomb theme on it and stuff, it would feel a bit more out of the bomb, you know, but it doesn't have none of that, which is a bit... It feels like a place point. But anyway, so yeah, like I said, I've enjoyed the films either way, so yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, so there's my James Bond 4K and Blu-ray collection. Remember to go to my channel. If you want to leave a comment, what's your... If you want to leave a comment and um, say what you say, say what, what you want to say, leave a comment, I'll try to reply to, to them. Um, like, what's your favourite Bond film? Um, what what do you like about a certain Bond film, whatever? So, what's your favorite villain? What's, what's your favorite um, what's your favorite Bond lady? And um, yeah, so, so yeah, do 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 do. Yes, like I said, I've enjoyed all the films. I've got to watch them again one of these days. Um, get to I I I did I did start to watch the special features and I kind of stopped. I had the box set years. I had the DVD box set. Oh, it was, it was like a case that had all the Bond films. It was, it's actually really cool. I should have kept the case fine, just <laughs> put the Blu-rays in there. It would have been, and the 4Ks in there. It would have been, that was a nice, that was a nice case, actually. And yeah, anyway, so before we go, let's go to my channel. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. Take care. Look at, look at yourself. Let's go to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. And take care and look after yourself. And thank you for watching.